Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of Get Ready. And today I have a very special guest. Now this is someone whose work I have known for a very long time. And in fact, uh, in chatting before, I didn't even tell him this little story that uh, years ago after learning more of his work, I, well, well perhaps you found yourself asking yourself the question, why do things go so well for me? How is it that I am such a fantastically successful person? And uh, if you do find yourself asking questions like that, and, and if you don't, you, I encourage you to do so more often. And uh, those are affirmations. And after I first um, learned more about this work, I actually posted in my children's bathroom a list of affirmations such as, why are things getting better and better for me? Why am I doing so well in school? And uh, the kids are now grown up and gone, but that list is still there in the bathroom. <laughs> and those are affirmations, and they are uh, the work of my friend Noah St. John. So welcome, Noah. Thank you, Brad. I'm delighted to be here with you today. So really quick, folks, I, Noah St. John is known as the Power Habits Mentor and is famous for helping people get rid of their head trash to make more money. He is the only author in history to have works published by Hay House, Harper Collins, Simon and Schuster, Mind Valley, Nightingale Conant, and the Chicken Soup for the Soul publisher, my friend Jack Canfield. Uh, he also appears frequently in the news worldwide, including ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, Parade Magazine, Entrepreneur.com, and the Huffington Post. It's, it's a pretty good list, yeah. It's a nice start, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I am very excited to uh, have you here on Get Ready. Thanks for being here. Thanks again, Brad. Great to be here today. So you have your 15th book out now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> it's just the, the couple of books that I put out, and, and two of them are children's books. They were shorter. <laughs> so <laughs> your 15th book, and, and, I, and I love this because I'm totally into the whole idea of habits. So Power Habits. Why this book and why now? Yes, absolutely, Brad. Well, you know, as you said, you know, this is my 15th book. It's called Power Habits. And the subtitle is The New Science for Making Success Automatic. And so very, very excited. So this book really represents over two decades of work. I've been doing this work over 20 years. I started in 1997 in my college dorm room with $800 <laughs> and a book on how to do HTML. And since that time, you know, we've uh, now our products are sold in over 125 countries, according to Google Analytics. And, uh, you know, as you mentioned, 15 books in 18 languages, you know, so from those very humble beginnings, uh, you know, we've really been able to, to touch a lot of lives. And so people kept asking me and they said, hey, Noah, I hear you're the guy that everybody goes to after they've gone to all the gurus and they're still stuck. I hear you're the guy that they go to your events after they've tried all this other stuff and they're, they're still not where they want to be. I hear you're the guy that helps people double or triple their income in less than a year. How do you do that? Can you teach me how to do that? And so, you know, of course, I've been coaching people, uh, you know, for you know, like $25,000 platinum coaching clients, but I really wanted to get a book out so that anybody could use it. I mean, you know, and so because we work with uh, celebrities, CEOs, uh, professional athletes, but we also work with working moms and teenagers uh, to help people not just make more money, but also to be healthier, be happier, uh, to overcome addiction, overcome PTSD, you know, all the things uh, that really humans want. And so what's really, really awesome, you know, that's why you and I, as you said, have known each other a long time and we're, we're mutual fans. And so, you know, a lot of people in the tapping world uh, use my affirmations method, as you were just talking about. Uh, that's something I invented over 20 years ago and I've been teaching uh, literally around the world for the last two decades. And so really that's what Power Happens represents. It really represents the culmination of over two decades of work and helping people to, you know, uh, have more time, more energy, better relationships, and more money without really having to have all that information overwhelm that we, you know, have out there today. Yeah. <laughs> so we've already got a lot of head trash in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I, and I love that expression. Uh, talk a little more about that. Yeah, so head trash, and, and really, I've written 15 books about pretty much this one subject, <laughs> which is how to get rid of your head trash. Uh, so head trash, the way that I teach it and have been teaching it for a long time, is head trash is the voice in your head that says, I can't do it because dot, 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 right? Yeah. So whatever your goals are, like, so for those watching, you know, maybe you want to, uh, you know, make more money. Maybe you want to grow your business. Maybe you want a promotion in your career, or, or maybe you want to lose weight or quit smoking or whatever it might be. Well, you know, you have a goal to get there. But 
the very next thought usually for many people is, well, I really want to do that, but I can't do it because, right? Yes. And then, and then you just fill in the blank. You know, well, Noah, I'd, I'd love to grow my business, but I don't have the time. I want to lose the weight, but I, I can't afford going to a gym. I want to have more money, but, you know, I got kids and, you know, I don't, I'm too busy or whatever it might be. And see, here's the point that I want everyone to realize is that you always make yourself right. See, we humans have an almost infinite capacity to make ourselves right. If you don't believe me, put a Democrat and a Republican in the same room and have them watch a political speech and see what happens, right? <laughs> right. And so, you know, or put a Boston Red Sox fan and a New York Yankees fan and watch a Red Sox-Yankees game. You see, they're, are they watching the same game? Well, yes and no. They are watching the same set of circumstances on the field. But, you know, when one team does great, one person's happy, one's sad, and, of course, vice versa. So the point is, you know, what that means for, for you and for me is that when you say, I really want to reach this goal, but I can't do it because you're always going to make yourself right. But this is one instance where you really don't want to make yourself right. Right. Well, it's like Pee Wee Herman said, everybody's got a big butt. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And and yeah, that whole thing of we'd rather be right than happy. Totally. And, totally. and you know, I like to say that self-sabotage is simply misguided self-love. And one of the ways that we treat ourselves with self-love is by proving ourselves right even at the cost of our dreams. Absolutely. You know? We see this over and over again. And I mean, that really goes back to my very first book. You know, you mentioned Chicken Soup for the Soul. My first book was called Permission to Succeed. That was published by the Chicken Soup people. So literally, that's what I've been teaching people. We don't need more how-tos of success. What we need is to actually give ourselves permission to succeed, literally. And so that's why, you know, all these years later, you know, with the, with the new book, The Power, you know, Power Habits, The Power Habit System, that's what it's really about. It's, it's not another book about how to succeed. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this is about why you're perfectly capable of success and you're stopping yourself from success. So that's really why, you know, it, my work is about, if you think about your goals as like driving a car, right? You want to, when you get in your car, you want to go somewhere, right? You want to reach a destination. You don't just drive around in circles, I mean, generally speaking, right? But yet most people are doing that in their lives. They're driving around in, in circles, you know, metaphorically. Yeah. And also, they're at the same moment that they're trying to reach their goals, that they have their foot pressed on the gas, they have the other foot pressed on the brake. Yes. So most people, 97% of people that you meet, and maybe some of the people watching this program right now, are driving down the road of life with one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas. So what I do with Power Habit System, and the reason that we've been able to help people make over $2.7 billion, you know, in terms of helping people grow their business or get promotions or advance their careers. What we do is not tell people to step on the gas harder. Cause if you're driving down the road, think about this. If you're driving down the road, you got one foot on the brake, one on the gas, everybody else out there is telling you to step on the gas harder. Right. Well, set your goals, think positive, get motivated. Okay. That's not wrong. But think about it, if you're driving down the road with your foot on the brake in front of the gas and someone tells you to step on the gas harder, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna ruin your car faster, <laughs> right? Yeah. So what I do with Power Habits, the Power Habits system literally shows you, number one, that you have your foot on the brake. Most people don't even realize that. Right. Number two, why you have it on the brake. And number three, most importantly, how to get it off the brake using my Power Habits system. Yeah. And there's always a why. There, we, we don't, you know, we always right. have a reason for it. And I've, I've used that analogy as well about having the foot. The other one I use is a hot air balloon. And the hot air balloon is still tied to the stakes. Right. But you're just like, oh, I'm not in the air yet. I need to pump more hot air into the balloon. That's right. Okay. <laughs> and. <laughs> don't be troubled pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. You got to <laughs> let go of that, that head trash. That's right. And it, that's awesome. I had not, uh, I did not know that you had a book called Permission to Succeed. Yep. I did a tapping video on that. And I actually just this morning was revisiting that Permission to Succeed video. So yep. we, we're so simpatico. It's this. amazing. This whole thing. It's amazing. <laughs> so um, awesome. Well, okay. So I'm sure that a few folks who are watching this, because we're talking about success, will think of success in terms of money. Right. Just one of the, it's only one of the types, but it is a type that, uh, that a lot of us are focused on and certainly an area that you have been very successful in helping people with. So talk about the, uh, the connection between habits and money. 
Right, there's a, there's a really important connection, but it's really hidden. It's not really obvious, especially when you listen to all the gurus out there who, who make it sound really easy and, you know, like, oh, just set your goals and think positive and, oh, I know, think about money and money pours in from the sky. Yeah, I'm not sure what planet that works on, but uh, <laughs> I'll move there in a minute, you know. <laughs> Looking so my flight right on now. Planet Earth, yeah, exactly. On planet Earth, we have really two components. So if you think about anything that we humans want to do, there's always two components, the inner component and the outer component. Now, we just, at my company, at successclinic.com, and at my live events, you know, we have a live event called Freedom Lifestyle Experience, where I teach you how to do this, but we, we call it inner game and outer game. So inner game is everything that happens between your ears that you can't see directly, but you see the effects of it everywhere. So whether I'm doing keynote speeches or at my own live events, one of the things I always ask my audiences is, what is one area of your life where your beliefs don't affect you? And of course, everybody goes, um, um, and I go, exactly. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you, right? right. Your beliefs affect your health, certainly, right? Your well-being. Uh, your peace of mind, but also your relationships, right? Your family life, your social life, your money, your finances, your business, your career, right? There's literally no place in the world where your beliefs don't affect you, but you can't see a belief. You can only see the effects of it, right? So that's the inner game, meaning it's up here. It's between your ears, but we also have the outer game. Now the outer game is everything you can see directly. That's the habits, the lifestyle, the you know, for those of us in business, as an entrepreneur, you know, the systems, the strategies in your career, it's the things you have to do every day to keep your job and so on and so on, right? So that's the blocking and tackling that we have to do every single day. So it's only when you master your inner game and your outer game that you have the phenomenon called success. I actually, I, I show you that uh, the diagram right here on page 44, all right? So it's inner game and outer game right there on page 44 of Power Habits. But the point is, that most people are really focused on one or the other. So for example, if you have someone who's really focused on their inner game and maybe their outer game is, is struggling, maybe they're stuck in their outer game or they, haven't, they just haven't been taught how to do it, that's usually what happens, is you have what I call a highly evolved broke person, <laughs> right? <laughs> because they, I literally have people at my events you know, at Freedom Lifestyle Experience, they come up and they say, Noah, I watched The Secret 37 times and I'm still not rich. And I go, hmm, that's strange. And I go, Maybe if you didn't spend so much time in front of the TV. Well, right, right. But they're like, well, but, but, but I, I visualized, I did what they said. I visualized money coming in. And I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, you know. And, and then, of course, you have the person who is only focused on their outer game, but maybe they're ignoring their inner game. And then you have what is, you know, very often called self-sabotage, you know, because they maybe they got very successful. Maybe they built, you know, a, a six or seven figure business. But then because they didn't have their inner game, then, you know, they, they lost it all. I mean, and there's a lot of famous examples of that. Yeah. Elvis Presley, John Belushi, Chris Farley, River Phoenix. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Marilyn Monroe. I mean, you, you could think of, you know, examples right off the top of your head. So the point is that, that for example, at Freedom Lifestyle Experience, that's why we teach you. On day one, we teach you inner game because, you know, most people haven't really been taught properly. And then on day two, we teach you outer game, which is the system strategies that you actually need. I mean, you can't just sit there and think positive and expect that the thing called money is just going to walk up to your door and say, hey, I heard you were look, look, looking for me. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But, you and know, I, anyway, I so that's why we do it that way. I hear that from people with you know, tapping videos on money. It's like, I've been tapping with this. I've been tapping with this. The money isn't showing up. It's like... Well, the reason you tap is to clear your blocks to going out and doing the things you need to do. Right. <clears throat> you know, you can say, hey, I want, you can sit in your house and go, I'm worthy and deserving of being able to see the stars up in the sky. That's great. But you can't sit there and focus on that until the ceiling opens up and you see <laughs> you have to go outside. <laughs> That's right. You have to take the actions that get you there. That's right. But, Absolutely. you know, but first, the, the first is the inner game, allowing yourself to know I can have it. I do deserve right. it. Now do you, you have really to take have to, get to do, <laughs> you, you have to do both. Let's just like, that's why I show that diagram, you know, in the book and in my, in my teachings and with my coaching clients, because if you do only one or the other, you know, it's exactly like the person who says, well, listen, I want to get six pack abs. So I'm going to think positive and I'm going to sit here on the couch, eat junk food, watch TV and never exercise. So come on, let's go. And it's like, Hello, it's not going to happen. So it's a simple example, but you're right. People just do this. And, and let's be honest because uh, there are a lot of gurus out there that tell them this stuff. So it's yeah. not that people are dumb and stupid. It's not, you know, it's not that at all. It's just, we got a lot of 
people out there giving a lot of bad information or misinformation. And so, you know, that's why, you know, Brad, I'm a big fan of yours because you're giving great information, you know, to your, to your followers and to your tribe. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It, and and we, we are in a culture of convenience. We have, we have learned to make things convenient. So we want to hear that it is simple. Exactly. We want to hear, you know, for some people, you know, going to a workshop or, or even just tapping, it's like, I have to tap myself. You can't do it all and just fix me. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, you, this is your life. You, uh, oh, but, but yeah, but we are, we are programmed. And, and I always say to people, yeah. you're, it's not that you're bad or stupid. It's just that you have programming telling you find the easiest way. Right. And also I think that we are, uh, so many of us have so many negative associations to money and success yes. that we, that's how we sabotage ourselves is by saying, I, I watched the secret, you know, a right. hundred times. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm going to make sure I don't do any of the things that will actually get what I want. Right. And then I'll just complain that it's someone else's fault because <laughs> that's how I keep myself safe. <laughs> that's right. We're brilliant. Well, we are geniuses at ah, keeping ourselves stuck. <laughs> totally. Well, like I said, I mean, I've written 15 books pretty much on the same subject. This is another book that wrote, Get Rid of Your Head Trash About Money, you know, and, the, and what you mentioned earlier about my Affirmations book. This is, you know, my Hay House book and, yeah. you know, Power Habits and Permission to Succeed. So, I mean, it just goes on and on. But basically, I'm saying the same thing. Get out of your own way. Yeah. It was, I, I'm doing a class right now called Fearless Acting, helping actors get over their, their blocks. And right. My uh, my co-presenter, um, Dina Tyler, is an actor at the Actors Studio, mm -hmm. and she is a big fan of affirmations. So in the middle of the um, of our last video class, she uh, or I think she talked about the book and then posted a picture of it. And that's I was telling you that is, that's what I thought. I haven't talked to Noah in a while. I should. Oh. Call <laughs> That's great. I'm excited. Well, introduce me to her. She's a fan of affirmations. But introduce me. I'd love yes. to meet her. <laughs> So yeah, it was, it was very funny. I, I haven't even told her yet because I, it, this happened so fast and she's actually shooting a TV show right now. Oh, nice. Um, because we cleared some of her head trash that was uh, blocking that. Oh, um, beautiful. So yeah, she's been very excited that we, when she gets to see this show. That's great. So, um, so what, uh, what a, a sneak peek at, 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 at a habit or two of what, uh, now is, is saying affirmations one of the, uh, one of the success <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, here, I'll show you. So this is, this is when you, when you, you know, when you get the book Power Habits, and by the way, we do have a special gift for all of your, your viewers and your listeners. So we want to make sure to get mention awesome. that. So we this will. is it on page 100. This is the power habit system right here. So you remember Da Vinci's man, I'm sure we're all familiar with that. So this is uh, based man. on Da Vinci's man. And so this is really the power habits of unconsciously successful people, meaning what highly successful people do unconsciously that they can't teach you because they're not even aware they're doing it. That's what I teach. And that's why I've helped people make over $2.7 billion over the last 20 years, because I teach what highly successful people do that they don't even know they're doing. So hence, power habits of unconsciously successful people. So yes, you're right. So affirmations, which is you know what I'm really known for. I'm kind of known as the affirmations guy uh, because people just love it. They get very excited. And by the way, we are saying affirmations, not affirmations. I invented affirmations, um, and it's it that is the foundational power habit because affirmations. For those of you who aren't familiar with my my teaching and my affirmations method, an affirmation, as we all know, is a statement of something you want to be true, like. I am rich. I love to have my audiences at my events or my keynote speeches stand up and say, all right, now everybody say, I am rich. And they go, I am rich. And then they start laughing. I go, what are you laughing at? Right. They say, well, I'm not rich. And, they, and I say, but you just said you were. And they go, yeah, but I don't believe it. And see, now that's the problem with the old method. Not that there's something wrong with the statement. The problem is you don't believe the statement, right? right? So back in 1997, I invented a method called affirmations. Not affirmations, but affirmations. So an affirmation is a statement that we want to believe, but we often don't believe it. An affirmation, my affirmations method, is to ask an empowering question that assumes that what you want is already true, right? So, you know, um, the examples that I've, you know, and by the way, in my book of affirm, I know I'm throwing a lot of books at you. Sorry, I don't mean to be confusing here, but I've written so many. What the heck? Uh, anyway. And I'll have a listed, I'll have a link for folks to go and find these different resources. So. <laughs> Right. Don't worry, you don't have to write so, it down. You're going to get all that information. So. so so, in my book of affirmations, I give you over 400 unique affirmations in all different areas of life from health and well-being and 
love and money and abundance and so on. But so it would be like, why am I so happy? Instead of I am rich, you would ask, why am I so rich? Yeah. Why am I so happy? Why am I enough? And when you form the word why, it forms a new thought pattern in your head. Hence, affirmations instead of affirmations. So it's very exciting. And of course, Brad, you know, because, you know, I know you, you tell a lot of people about my affirmations method, which I appreciate so much. And, you know, we just had just incredible, incredible breakthroughs in people's lives after they had tried everything else. They literally tried everything else, um, you know, prior to using my methods. And I mean, you know, when you go to our website, you'll just see tons and tons of stories of, you know, pe real people, real stories of people who've, you know, increased their income, started businesses, wrote their books, uh, found love after they'd given up on love. Even people who, and, you know, I get these phone calls a lot, people who had, were going to commit suicide and they were going to take their own life. And then they read one of my books or got one of my programs and they found a new lease on life and decided, you know, that there was a reason to live. And that's really, really powerful. So we have just wonderful stories like that. And of course, we want many, many more. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, very gratifying stuff. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Well, and I love the, the, just the way that it, it uses the way the mind works. That's right. Because whereas with an affirmation, the mind can quickly negate it with a question. It's like, what? what? Okay. Well, that's not a comment I can negate. It's a question. Okay. How do I, that's right. How do I make sense of that? And yeah, that's right. It, we call it, and, and uh, psychologists call it the embedded presupposition factor of the brain. Meaning, when you ask a question, your brain searches for the answer. You know, it's just like going to Google and you type in anything you're doing on Google, it's a search, right? It's a search engine. So it's a question. Hey, Google, show me all the Chinese restaurants in Phoenix, Arizona. That's a question, right? Well, your brain's like Google, right? So when you embed a question, then it's going to search for the answer. So that's why using my affirmations method, it, it is so powerful because you're literally embedding a new command in there. But... You're not doing it in a way that the brain says no, right? Because I, I, I call it in, in my books and my trainings, I call it the yeah, right response. I'm happy. I'm rich. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? So now it's why am I so happy? Why am I so rich? Uh, uh, well, uh, because I'm, the, the, you see what I mean? I and the information just, is in there. That's just right. like with a Google search, there is something to find and you can say I'm rich and it, instead of just negating it, the mind will say, well, you know, I do have a roof over my head. That's right. I, it, you know, they used to say, if you have a refrigerator in your house, you're wealthier than half the world. So, and running water. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So when we, when we, rather than having that statement that could be quickly negated, in spite of all the evidence that would prove it. Yeah. You're, right. you're as you, I love that idea of you're putting that search, that question, and it's like, all right, well, let's, let's go find it. Even if, even if the examples are few and far between, it's there and you can build on that. Well, I just got an email the other day from one of my clients who, you know, had read my book and gone through my program. And he told me, his name's Jacob, he's up in Canada. And he said that before my training, before my books, he was living in a 300 square foot apartment, cockroach infested next to drug dealers. I'm not making this up. And he literally said he started using my app formation, started using my power habit system. And within less than six months, he had sold that apartment. He'd made enough money to move into a new condo. Um, and he quit smoking. He quit uh, using marijuana, he quit drinking, and he quit coffee, meaning, you know, caffeine. He said he had been trying to quit those four addictions for 17 years and had been unable to do it. He did it in less than six, it was actually less than 90 days, you know, using my methods. So, I mean, just amazing, amazing stories like that. How, how. What, what we, well, uh, it was uh, Edison who said, if we did everything we literally, we could do, we would literally astound ourselves. Right. We are... <laughs> We are just scratching the surface of what's possible. And, uh, and I just love that you have created things that, that help us scratch deeper <laughs> and dig deeper into that potential. Well, it's funny you said that because Stephen Covey, before he passed away, gave me a lovely testimonial based on, you know, jumping off what you just said, he said, uh, and this is right on the back of the Power Habits book, Stephen Covey said, Noah St. John's work is about discovering what we should have known all along. We are truly powerful beings with unlimited potential. That's what Stephen Covey from Seven Habits said. And wow, he was, Stephen Covey was the reason I got in this business, meaning he was my inspiration, literally. So when I got that quote from him, uh, I mean, I just started bawling. I was crying because it was so like, it was like winning an, you know, an Oscar and an Emmy and a Tony all in one. It was pretty exciting. <laughs> it's very nice when you get a testimonial like that from someone you, uh, yeah. you admire. So. Yes. So we're getting to the end of this. I, if I, I don't know, maybe too big of a question, 
but talking about the freedom lifestyle. Mm-hmm. To, yes, absolutely. Maybe, so maybe just give it a, a teaser of that, and people can absolutely. go find out no, more. I can, I mean, I can tell you exactly what it is right now. Uh, so, so we what we teach uh, is that the freedom lifestyle, which is of course what we all want. I know a lot of uh, you know there are folks watching, are entrepreneurs, business owners, or maybe in a transition or whatever. But I mean, let's face it, we want to live a freedom lifestyle. But what actually is that? Well, what I teach my clients is that it's really four elements time, energy, relationships, and money. When you have the time, the energy, the relationships, and the money that you want, we say that you're living a freedom lifestyle. So think about if you had a million dollars and no time to enjoy it, right? That wouldn't be freedom, that wouldn't be abundant. Or a million dollars with no energy, or a million dollars with no relationships, right? It doesn't make any sense. But you also want the money, right? So you really want four things. Uh, time, energy, relationships, and money. So that's why, you know, again, in our freedom lifestyle experience, that's why we call it that, because we want people to have that experience of the freedom lifestyle into transformational days, what has been called quite possibly the most transformational event on the planet today, my freedom lifestyle experience. So that's why, again, going back to the inner game, outer game part, that, um, you know, day one is all about inner game mastery, because if you don't master your inner game, there's no way you're going to allow yourself to succeed to the level you're capable of. And if you don't master your outer game, which is day two, there's no way you're going to actually make the money, right? Have the money so you can have the time, energy, and relationships. So they both fit together. And that's really what the freedom lifestyle and the freedom lifestyle experience is all about. Yeah. And clearing the head trash about why you couldn't or shouldn't have any of those four elements. Bingo. Bingo. Exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, okay. I could go on talking forever, but uh, I try to keep these relatively short and there's there and we could go for days with the information you could share but i'm going to uh, have links for folks to find out how to find out more about you your lab events your books and uh the uh, 299 dollars in free gifts that folks get if they order the power habits book at powerhabits.com so but i'll have links to all of that i this has been great fun um so much great information you had to share uh, i greatly appreciate you being on the show Noah. Thanks, Brad. Always a pleasure.